weather right now is gorgeous. It has been such a beautiful morning. Spring has sprung and summer is definitely on its way. What I am doing in this video is organizing and rearranging my wardrobe situation. A while back, probably maybe even two years ago now, I really got into the concept of a capsule wardrobe. I just wanted to simplify and make things easier and kind of also stop the overconsumption of just buying new clothes for the sake of buying new clothes. But I stumbled across the business outfit formulas and I purchased a couple of their capsule wardrobe formulas. So that's what I've kind of used to work out what key pieces I want in my wardrobe and I just kind of use that as the basis of how I put things together. So the formula that I use has different set pieces that should be in your capsule wardrobe for each season. Uh, rather than change everything around like four times a year, literally with the seasons, I found the easiest way to do it is to kind of rearrange my capsule wardrobe uh, every six months. So now that the weather is really warming up and it's just getting nice and summery, that is the job that I want to get done in this video. So let's start. I'll show you what the kind of wardrobe situation is looking like now. And then we'll start tidying, organizing, changing over. Okay, so starting at the end, we have my shoe organization. And then these are all like mostly, well, a lot of this is stuff I wore when I was teaching. So like my teacher dresses and kind of my more work kind of style clothes and those kind of things. And then we've got some like winter coats and stuff hanging here. And I've got a little bit of storage up there. Uh, these are mostly like fancy dress costumes. This is just like some um, like sentimental kind of things. I probably need to go through those too. Just organize them. Then if we switch across to the other side. Okay, so this is kind of like my real sort of capsule wardrobe part at the moment. This is the stuff that I've really been wearing a lot of over winter and autumn. So like denim jackets, my big cardigans, uh, these kind of tops. So this is really um, mostly the stuff I wear like on a casual day. Uh, socks and underwear. This is my little um, Simbi dog. When our family dog Simbi passed away, I got a, <laughs> a toy made of him. Um, and then I've got some long sleeve shirts. I need to tidy up T-shirts. Uh, these are pajamas. So that's, that's that side. And then this side is a mess. <laughs> Uh, more sentimental trinkety things. This is like dog jumpers and random stuff, uh, singlets, beanies, those kind of things. Uh, all of my hoodies and jumpers, active wear, trackies. And then <laughs> because it started getting warm, this is where I've like thrown like my summer shorts and this has got more summer clothes. That's got like Christmas clothes and things. So this needs a good organize. And then, all right, this side. This is just chaos. So <laughs> these are left over hangers from when I originally redid my cupboard organization. Um, a lot of this is from my spare room. I cleaned out the cupboards in my spare room and put all this stuff here being like, oh, I'll organize it later. My Christmas tree, like bags, like this just needs a good, a good tidy. I find the hardest part of jobs like this is just where to start. <laughs> so I'm gonna start with the capsule wardrobe stuff because really if I get nothing else done, this is what would be most useful to me and is most needed and why I wanna do this job. So I'm gonna pull all of the stuff that's in there at the moment out. I'm gonna get out my little outfit formulas formula and have a look at what I want to have on hand for spring and summer and do a swap over and then I'll go on from there. <music> that I will be adding to my spring summer capsule wardrobe is a black tea or tank which is a piece that's used in summer fall winter uh, I'm gonna be with the black tea and I know I have one of those already So when I started my capsule wardrobe, I obviously followed a little bit of a process for that. Um, I didn't do it all at once, but you know, I went through my cupboard, I worked out what I already had, what I needed to buy, um, and I 
pretty sure this black shirt was one of the things I bought because I have so many like t-shirts but I didn't just have a plain black shirt that could be worn with anything um, so yeah so if you're starting a capsule wardrobe it does take a bit of time I think to get the right pieces and get everything together um, but I found it pretty worthwhile. I like the idea of knowing that different pieces in my wardrobe work with different things and that I'm not just buying like outfits that don't go with anything <laughs> or that you can only wear once. I've just realized I am going to clean, vacuum clean the bottom of my wardrobe before I start putting things back in there. So I'm gonna do that. So a lot of it is the same stuff, uh, but I have swapped in like shorts uh, and a few more like summery tops and things and I've taken out the bulky winter stuff. So now I've got a container and I'm going to just store some of the really bulky winter stuff that doesn't need to be uh, hanging there when it's beautiful and warm. So my little capsule pieces are looking good. Now I'm going to go through my socks. I probably need to get rid of some of the odd ones. Um, I'm going to go through these shirt baskets, make sure everything still fits, tidy them up, uh, and my PJs. So I just kind of keep working my way up this section. <music> in other places and I agree I love the capsule wardrobe idea and I love the outfit formulas idea because they tell you the pieces to get for your capsule and then they show you how to wear them together and they literally give you outfit formulas or how to put an outfit together ideas of what to wear and how to style your capsule wardrobe so I love that that said I already had a lot of clothes and I wasn't just going to go and throw everything I owned out so that I could have only those pieces in my wardrobe. That's literally the opposite of what I would like to do by being more mindful with my shopping and that kind of thing. Since I discovered the concept of the capsule wardrobe and the outfit formulas ideas, I have been a lot more mindful with my shopping. I'm not a avid shopper. I don't buy a lot of clothes anymore. Um, I try to be more mindful in picking pieces that are better quality, that I can wear, um, more, they're more versatile so I can wear them more different ways and with different things. Um, but yeah, so that's why I have my little capsule wardrobe section and then I have other clothes, I just do. Um, and I like it that way and I think if you're looking to get into the idea of a capsule wardrobe then that can be a good place to start because it, it is, it's overwhelming to think I'm just going to throw out everything I own and it's unrealistic and it doesn't actually help the environment in any way uh, or make it some more sustainable or anything like that. So that's where I'm at with my wardrobe. I love and utilise the idea of a capsule wardrobe but I also have other clothes. It's just the way it is and I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Do you have a true capsule wardrobe where you've only got 20 something pieces or whatever it might be in your wardrobe? Or are you kind of more the way I am, where you've got kind of like your curated wardrobe, but then you've got other bits and pieces from along the way? Or is your wardrobe just a million different pieces? Where are you at with your closet organisation? <music> I 
love my shoe organization. I have shared it before, um, but basically they're just these cheap boxes that you buy individually and then they stack nicely on top of each other and they fit a pair of shoes in. They keep them neat and tidy and well protected. Um, and so, yeah, not going to change anything here. Very happy with my shoes, but I've cleared this rack and now I've got to work out what to do with it all. What was on this rack was some coats and jackets and things, which is fine, but it's mainly, mainly stuff that I wore when I was teaching. And I'm now not teaching. Um, I'm working in a dog kennel, so I'm wearing very different style of clothes. Um, but I don't want to get rid of everything that's kind of that professional slash teacher wear because I may go back and do some casual days in the future. Um, I like some of the clothes. So I think I'm just going to go through them all and possibly come up with a better way to store some of the things that I'm not wearing because I really am not using that much stuff along here. I'm going to go through and work out what to do with it all, what to put back and what to maybe store differently. I don't know. It just feels like a bit of a waste of space because this is probably the biggest hanging area. And it would almost make sense if this was like the capsule stuff that I wear all the time. Hmm. Not sure. Let me sort through it and work out what I'm going to do with it. Okay, this looks so much better. Um, it's not that I got rid of everything. I didn't anything crazy. It's just I tidied it up. I made sure everything was, you know, all the hangers were on the right way. Everything was organized. Um, and it just looks so much neater, so much better. And from going through it all, I actually know what's there. So if I need a piece for, you know, just casual wear or whatever, not necessarily going to do a teaching day, um, I know what's here and what I can pull out and what I can wear. Okay, so moving to the chaos that is this side of the cupboard. We'll start with these. This is active wear and I wear a lot of active wear to work. So I'm wondering if there's a way I can sort of sort this into like work clothes and active wear. Uh, these are tracky pants, but being summer, I want to swap this out and make sure this is like shorts. I've got heaps of hoodies. I think I want to find a way to store some now that it's warmer. Yeah, I just really want to rearrange this, make it more useful. Uh, so I just filmed myself doing a whole heap of stuff and then realised I forgot to press record. <laughs> um, so this is my exercise stuff all organised and this I swapped out my trackies for shorts. So now I need to work out what I'm going to do here. These are hoodies. I think what I need is maybe another tub. Like these, this has got, um, this is, I put the winter stuff and the, my Christmas stuff in. I think I need two more of those so that I can kind of pack the hoodies and the trackies that I'm not going to be wearing for a while into those. And then I kind of want to put my work clothes that I wear to the kennels here so that they're a bit more easily accessible. <music> dog clothes and then we've got more dog clothes dog pajamas uh, and then my swimmers which I must have thrown there at the end of last summer and hats and bags just all the bits and pieces I think I actually want to keep Mason's dog stuff on the shelf but what I would love to do is get another tub and then I could kind of hide Mason's stuff there so for now I'll just have to put it there and then perhaps tomorrow I can go and see if they still sell any of these tubs that I use. Okay, this is where I'm going to leave things for today. Uh, obviously I need to get a tub. I want some more of these big, big storage tubs uh, and then I'm going to tackle that 
<laughs> which is not really like clothes per se, you know, like all of my wardrobe stuff um, where I keep my clothes is done. This side has just become more of like a junk collector uh, and I really want to just get it organized. I don't even open that side of my wardrobe because I don't like seeing the junk. So I really do want to get on top of that, but I need a few more tubs and things. Um, yeah, so the last thing I'm going to have to do just now is sort this pile, which is all of the things that I just got out of my cupboard that I'm going to get rid of. Either donate or some of them are just that they've gotten tatty and gross and dirty and they need, it's time, it's time for them to retire. Um, but that blows my mind because like I do this semi-regularly. Like I go through my cupboard at least, at least once a year, probably twice. And I still have so much stuff and I have not been shopping this year. Like I've, I'd be lucky if I buy a piece of clothing each month, like genuinely. So the fact that I have that much stuff to get rid of is just mind blowing. Like, I don't know how the shopping girlies do it or like the influencer girlies that are getting sent PR packages constantly. Like, where are you putting those clothes? I just, I, I don't even know. <laughs> All right. So I will probably continue this tomorrow, tackle that side and hopefully get to the shops for some more storage containers. I will see you then. I have got two new big containers, picked them up from the shops this morning and I'm going to try and get this project done. It's the very next day. I just want it all organized. I think what I'm gonna to need to do is pull everything out that's in this messy, messy, crazy side and then work out where is it all going back. And I still have a giant pile of hoodies and track pants that need to fit somewhere. reclaim some of this as wardrobe space uh, for you know my hoodies and my trackies and that some of that bulky wintry stuff fit into here and then move some of this down use my other storage box to kind of put some in there um, yeah just rearrange and organize um, you would have seen I pulled my Christmas tree out mm -mm, it's gone in the rubbish it is white it's not really white anymore it has discolored so much um, I bought it years ago. I was living in a share house. So like, I think we're talking like eight years ago and it was a cheap crappy tree when I bought it back then. So you can imagine how it's not doing so well now. <laughs> um, so yeah, that is what I'm going to do. <laughs> perfect because these are all my hoodies and then my trackies are down there and you can see they're only really taking up half so this space which is kind of a tricky weird space to get to just with the way the doors are uh will still be able to have some things stored here which is perfect That's it. It's done. It's all organized. It's all tidy. It's all seasonal. My closet organization is complete for now. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Get it to you.